sweet gorgeous viewers welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you've been around for a while my name is blake i'm 22 years old and i make content that documents my life in my 20s so in today's video i show you three places i visited outside of london but were definitely on my london bucket list so i started in whitstable which is in kent that was a honestly a, a couple months ago now and then recently i went to dover with caitlin and that is also in Kent. And then I finish in Brighton in East Sussex. So let's get into that footage. Whitstable was kind of a spur of the moment decision for me. Uh, I went back in like late April and it was peak gloomy season. I just didn't have anything to do for the day and I really wanted to get out of London. So I decided to just catch a bus to Whitstable. Super, super last minute, but definitely worth it. So I ended up taking the National Express and the location that the National Express dropped me off in in Whitstable was kind of sus and I was the only one getting off the bus at that point. I think the entire bus went to Canterbury. I'm not I'm not sure honestly where it went, but um, it was kind of like a sus area. So I would recommend taking the train if you are visiting from London or honestly anywhere else. Like where the train station was, it was just so much closer to the city. I ended up having to walk like probably a mile or more just to get to the beach. And if I would have gone to the train station, it would have been less than half of that. So I recommend taking the train. It's not that much more expensive and it's just so much more convenient and quicker. So once I got there, I immediately routed myself to the beach and I ended up just walking along the shoreline for a while. After that, I decided to walk through town, stop in a few of the shops. I got some postcards and stuff. And I ended up finding this little like pub to get lunch at, which was giving major Gilmore Girls Luke's Diner vibes or like small New England town. Because I think she was either the waitress or the owner, um, but she was working behind the bar taking my order and her kids came in from school with someone else. And so she set them up at a table in the back and it was just super cute. Like they must just come in every day. And there were a ton of other townies like popping in and out to say hello. And it was just really precious. And it made me feel like I missed my little small beach town at home. So I really appreciated that. And it was just what I needed on like a day like that where I just felt kind of isolated. Despite the gloom, I still love this town so much. If you're looking for somewhere quick to get out of London and you don't wanna to go to Brighton because it's a little bit crowded, I think Whitstable is a really, really good place to go to. And it is it is super convenient to get there. Like I said, take the train, you can take the bus. It's gonna probably be half the price, but it's just not as worth it, you know? But highly recommend if you want a day out in the beach. So Caitlin and I went to Dover, not on a whim. We had been talking about basically going on to Dover since I came back from Whitstable. Uh, so it was a very long anticipated trip. <laughs> we took the train from London. It was pretty cheap and it was around two hours and it dropped us off like right in town. But then from town, we had to walk maybe a mile, mile and a half to get to the cliffs. The town really wasn't what I expected for a really high touristy area, but we were too busy walking 11 miles through the cliffs to even 
have time to visit there. It didn't seem like if we would have stayed though, there would have been that much to do. It was very much like just normal shops, not touristy restaurants or anything like that. pub we had gotten lunch there right when we got there because it was on the way to the cliffs from the town and then we ended up back there and got a pint before our train came and it was so cool it, apparently it's really really haunted it's like an old church that was bombed turned into a restaurant but it was just really good we got to sit outside super nice and i highly recommend because the food was really good and they had a lot of vegan options so yeah, after that we just got on the train back and we were so exhausted. We like could barely move. We had walked too much. It was dehydration central. Like it was, we just wanted to get home. We were so tired. And finally, the day after my 11 mile stint in Dover, I ended up going to Brighton with some of my friends from class. There were only three of us, but originally we were supposed to be a bigger group. And we found that like once we got there, there was no way we could have been a group more than like four or five because there's so many intimate things and you can't just like worry about what people are doing in the group. So we were actually grateful that a ton of people just backed out last minute. So we started walking through town from the train station and we ended up at the beach immediately. And we started walking along the shoreline. We ended up getting lunch at one of the restaurants on the shoreline. we saw the pier so we decided to walk over to the pier and we got stuck in the arcade for two hours because my friend jade had like cashed in 20 pounds worth of coins and we were trying to spend them so immediately once we got to the boardwalk we were just consumed in darkness in this full arcade and it was super fun and then we were like oh my god we're here we need to get out so we ended up back on the boardwalk and we saw that there were roller coasters. So we ended up getting on one of the roller coasters and that was so fun. I forgot how much I love roller coasters. Like I, I think I tell myself that I'm too terrified of them, but I had so much fun and I was not scared at all. So I don't know. It just like felt like being a kid again and it was really peaceful. It's very much like, I've never been to Coney Island, but it seems like that, you know, like, like, where I'm from up north, we always have the carnival every year and it was like that, but it's always there. So that was just so nice. After that, we ended up walking through town. We stumbled on like this little palace -y thing and it was really cool. And it was just a really good, peaceful day there. And we ended up just sitting on the beach until our train came. And after that, we went home. We were so exhausted again, but it was a really fulfilling weekend that weekend. around this far thank you so much i am so grateful for you please be sure to like subscribe comment what you want to see i've been getting some feedback and i really appreciate that those videos will hopefully be up soon i hope you guys are having a great day i will see you in the next one thank you so much